creative maps. Most of them are absolute dog shit, but amongst all the bullshit in the Discover page, there are a few good maps that are out there. Today I wanted to show you some of my favorite creative maps to actually play on. Keep in mind that any of these maps I'm about to show you have my seal of approval of good Fortnite map. If any of you have a map you want me to review in a video, just make sure to leave a comment with the map code, but make sure to put the words map code before it or YouTube will think you're scamming someone. I will also be making a section in my Discord for any creative map that gets the seal of approval. Okay, first map, Valhalla. This one is created by Sven P. You're gonna see his name pop up a lot in my videos, he's one of my favorite creative builders. And this is an open world action RPG, I don't know what else you'd call it or classify it as. And it's basically kind of a, a Dark Souls reiteration, but created very well in Fortnite. As you're playing through this, you'll be able to just realize the scope and the scale of this map and just kind of wonder how someone was able to do this in a, with a, only 100,000 storage on a creative map. Which is where the genius of this map comes in. You see Sven used very minimalistic designs and used really cheap props and a lot of landscape to build up his world here to make sure he had enough space to do what he wanted to do. This map contains four worlds and a fifth one that's kind of a PvP boss fight thing that's also really cool, which allows for a lot of things you can do. There's a lot of exploration, there's a lot of different, just a bunch of different shit. It's really easy to get super lost on this map and it's amazing. The first time I played this was at like 3 in the morning when I was homesick and I remember just spending like four hours on my first run because I was so lost and it was great. This map just truly feels like its own game because as you begin progressing further and further in it, you start seeing things that you wouldn't <laughs> otherwise. It's kind of cool. For example, when you get a blue sword or a blue hammer, you can take them to this forge and spawn and using a bunch of like crafting shit, you can make, you, right, there's a lottery, okay? And in this lottery, there's like a one in, I don't know, like 20 chance of getting a purple sword or a purple hammer. And then you use the purple sword and the purple hammer to get a golden scythe. And then the golden scythe is one of three things you need to get into this thing that I still haven't done because it's really hard. You, you get my yeah. point being there's a ton of shit to do. And as things go on, you'll start to see more and more of this shit. And it's just, it's very well progressed throughout the game. It goes, it flows smoothly for lack of a better words. It's also really pretty. So that, I love, I love pretty maps. Very well, very good. Very well, yay. Okay, second map is actually kind of, this might be a controversial one. Um, I'm gonna go with Warfare. I grinded the shit out of this map a couple months ago. It is really fun and it's one of the few combat maps I would ever consider to be a well-made map. It's basically a Modern Warfare 2, not the new one, the old one. It's a Modern Warfare 2 replica but with their own spins on the maps, as well as a really cool rebirth system that you can use over time as you get kills and you gain coins. And there's some cool upgrades and there's different guns you can buy, there's a whole lot of shit going on, it's great. The maps are also very customized, they're very dynamic, they, they use a lot of pieces in ways you wouldn't usually see them. For example, they use primitives to make a modern house, and one of the things I can't do in creative for the life of me is use primitives, so anytime I ever see primitives used, I, it's wild to me. I don't know how people sculpt or do anything like this. It's, it's really impressive. Also, it has Nuketown, perfectly recreated, and I love Nuketown and Cold War. Cold War is my only real COD I've ever played. Don't yell at me for that. But Nuketown is my, probably my favorite map ever, so I'm a little biased on this one. But it's, it's great. <laughs> and this one is made by Team Atomic, which is Ali A's creative team, which I would never expect to put out a good project. But hey, they're here. They did it. I'm, I'm not complaining. Also, I'm pretty sure Sven, the guy that made the last map, is on Team Atomic. So I, I said his name would pop up a bunch, and it's going to keep doing that. Now, the only other one I would consider putting on this list is Sky Snipes. But the issue is that one got taken down off of matchmaking a considerable amount of time ago. I don't know when. I went to go check on it when I was making this video and it, you can't load into it anymore. So I don't know what happened. I'm kind of sad. But if, you had a, if any of you remember Sky Snipes from back in the old days of Fortnite, that used to be my favorite creative map back in those old days. I would definitely put that on this list. That one has the seal of approval. Unfortunately, it's not up anymore though. So that, it's kind of an honorable mention because of that. You know, if it was still up and it was still updated, it would definitely be fully on this list. Anyways, that's about it for maps that I actually favorite and play. I don't really see a whole lot of other well-made creations come through the Discover page very often. So I'm not really exposed to good maps very frequently. If any of you have any suggestions for actually well-made maps or decent projects, put them in the comments, like I said. I'll make a video reacting to and judging any maps you put in there. But fair warning, if you do make a map or a creation and you put it in there, 
If I don't like it, I'm going to shit on it. I'm not going to hold back on you. I'm sorry uh, in advance. I don't care. But yeah, that's about all the maps. That's all I have to talk about. See ya.